Hi, my name is Lindsay, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some butterflies. So when we're finished, our butterflies might look something like this, but you're going to get to choose whatever color and pattern you want to have on your butterfly. So what we're going to need to make our butterflies is a coffee filter, a pipe cleaner, some markers, some paper towels or something to cover up your workspace, and some water. I just have a small cup of water here. So the first thing that we're going to do to make our butterflies is take our coffee filter and flatten it out so we can draw on it. It doesn't have to be perfectly flat. We're just going to try to get it as flat as we can. So now is the fun part. You get to choose whatever colors and patterns you want to put on your butterfly. So I have some examples here. So the first butterfly that I did, this is what my coffee filter looked like. I did some pink, purple, and yellow, and I made an X pattern. And so that butterfly turned out to look like this. And another butterfly I did, I decided to draw some shapes using a bunch of different colors, some hearts, some stars, some little squigglies and polka dots. And I left a lot of white space. And that butterfly turned out like this. There's some white space and then my shapes, when I put the water on it, the color bled, made it look really cool. And then for another one I made, I wanted my butterfly to be symmetrical. So I folded my coffee filter in half before I colored it. So I did a big circle, I did some stripes and I did a line along the outside. And then my butterfly turned out like this. So you can color your coffee filter however you would like, using whatever colors you want, any kind of pattern, shapes, you can do a design, you can just scribble. This is your butterfly, so you can make it look however you would like. For this butterfly that I'm gonna make, I'm just gonna do some scribbles. So I'm gonna start out with some orange and just scribble all over my coffee filter some on both sides. So you can color as much of the coffee filter as you want. You can have the whole thing covered. You can leave a lot of white space. It's totally up to you. You do draw in these shapes. Just remember that when we put the water on it to give it that tie-dye look, your color is going to bleed. So your shape's not going to look exactly the same when you're finished. Next, for mine, I'm going to take some blue and I'm going to scribble the whole middle. Some blue. Then I'm going to do some purple. And then I'm going to fill in the rest of the white space with some green. You can see for this one, I've just scribbled a bunch of different colors all over my coffee filter. So the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to take my water and I'm going to dip my fingers in it. You can let it drip. You can kind of wiggle your fingers or you can splash and kind of flick your fingers and splash the water. You can do this however you would like. And you're just going to co um, cover the whole coffee filter with water. We want to make sure we have something like paper towels or newspaper underneath our coffee filter because it is going to bleed through. The marker is going to bleed through onto that. 
So we're just gonna cover the whole entire thing and you can watch when you put the water on it, that color is gonna start to bleed and spread all over the coffee filter. You just wanna make sure that you're covering the entire thing. Once you have your whole coffee filter covered with water, you can see mine, all of the colors kind of spread out and it gave it this cool watercolor tie-dye look. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put this aside and we're gonna let it dry completely. So right now it's wet because we just put all that water on it. So we wanna leave this flat so that it can dry, so that we can finish making our butterfly. So you can set this aside. You can go do another activity while you wait for this to dry. And you can pause this video so you can come back when it's dry to finish making our butterfly. So I'm just gonna set mine to the side. So once it's dry, it should look something like this, however you've done your pattern. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold our coffee filter to make our butterfly. So you're gonna start folding it up and down, kind of like an accordion. So you're folding a little bit up and then you're folding it the other way back. You can pick, depending on how your pattern looks, where you want to fold your butterfly. You can turn it around, pick the best side, and you're just gonna keep folding forward and back until it's bunched up in the middle and we have our two wings. Next, you're gonna grab your pipe cleaner, try to find about the middle of it, and you're gonna fold it in half. Then you're gonna place the middle of your pipe cleaner on the middle of where you scrunched up and folded that coffee filter. And then you're just gonna twist the two ends of your pipe cleaner together. Now you can kind of fold out the wings however you want. So you can kind of have them curve, you can crumple them up, you can make your butterfly look however you would like. Then the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make our antennas. So we're just gonna kind of curl the end of our pipe cleaner. And now we have our finished butterfly. So awesome job. So now once you've finished, you can put these in your room to use as decoration or you can take them and you can fly them around with you wherever you go. So awesome job. Thank you guys so much for doing this activity with me today. I hope you had a lot of fun. Bye.